back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to part 11 of Let's Role Play Fallout 3. We're heading to Rivet City. In the last episode, we helped Moria with the last bit of chapter 2, which was to observe the behavior of Mirelurks. So, we left dog meat behind and didn't sneak very well at all. And as we fled the War Memorial, we wrapped up, spent a couple days chilling out, got a haircut, and all was well. Now, we're heading to Rivet City because we've got so much to do in that part of the wasteland. There we go. Hey, some scrap metal. As um, we've continued to journey through the wasteland, we keep coming across situations where we need to head to Rivet City. Apparently, it's one of the safest places in the wasteland. What's this? A sewer way station. We can't really afford to be distracted right now. But we're heading that way, going a little bit off-road, cross-country, just to save some time. We've been making so many round trips in this part of the wasteland, it's kind of safe to do. Huh. Yeah, we probably shouldn't stick around Grey Ditch, though. All right. So, I know that... Grandma Sparkle's Wharf is just down here, and if we keep on heading south, we're going to get closer and closer to where the river will pour out into. The bay. Okay. So, we probably have a couple of options here. We could go down into the metro, see where that goes. We could continue along this road here and then cross over that large bridge or we can continue the path we've already started over here by the tepid sewers. I think... I think we'll, we'll do a little bit of scouting on this side of the river, just because we haven't spent a whole lot of time here. And hopefully, that'll... Uh, Ah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, they've got grenades. Serving ammo. Alright, come on. You want a knife fight? That's what we'll do.
let's take a look. We're doing very well, I think. But we could be doing better. Small guns, melee weapons. We should probably be getting better with that. Some explosives as well. Bartering. Rounding off big guns. Yeah. Let's see. Life giver. Fast metabolism. So, okay. When using Simpax, we get 20% more health back. Oh, gain. Wait. Night person, nerd rage, animal friend, that eh, wouldn't be terrible. Finesse, that might be something. Robotics expert. With the robotics expert perk, you do an additional 25% damage to any robot, but even better, sneaking up on a hostile robot undetected and activating it will put that robot into a permanent shutdown state. Red resistance. That wouldn't be too bad. Impartial mediation. With the impartial mediation, you gain an extra 30 points to speak so long as you maintain a neutral karma level. That's very hard for me. So, what about scoundrel? No. Thief. With each rank of the thief perk. Ah. How about child at heart? You know what? Little Leaguer. I think that'll be really good for me. Five points with the melee weapon skill, five points with the explosive skill. That's worth it. Rad X, some bottle caps. Cram. Rad X, bottle cap. Nice. Cartons of cigarettes, some beer. Start some pre-war money. Nuka-Cola. Whiskey. A safe. Bottle caps buff out. Jet and Psycho. Not doing half bad. Ruined that couch, though. Locker for some beer, a metal box with a pack of cigarettes, some bobby pins, a trunk, basketball. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a rest here. Now, what is this? This place is huge. Citadel. Huh. We'll double back. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's more of the Brotherhood. Hey. Uh, Paladin. Paladin. Name's Paladin Bale. What do you need, civilian? What is this place? You're standing in front of the Citadel. Headquarters to the Brotherhood of Steel. Capital Wasteland Detachment. Can I come in? Negative. No super mutants, civilians, or traveling salesmen allowed. Which are you? <laughs> Funny. Well, is there anything about super mutants that I should know? Yeah, the city ruins are crawling with them. They've pretty much overrun all of old DC. Do yourself and us a favor and stay as far away from there as humanly possible. Definitely no place for civilians. Well, you know, can anyone in there teach me how to use power armor like that in case I ever came across some? Of course. 
but you'd have to secure the permission of Elder Lions and, well, I just don't see that happening. So move along. Well, fine. Before I go, what can you even tell me about your order? The, who are the Brotherhood of Steel, anyway? I can see you're trying to appeal to our good nature. Pity for you, I don't have one. I'll give you this one for free. We use our big guns to kill big super mutants, so people like you can sleep at night. Yeah, well, thanks, Bale. I think I'll be going. Steel will be with you. Yeah, steal yourself. You're making me edgy. Back off. All right, that's fine. Do not interfere with security operations. Man, is everybody so jumpy? All right, that's fine. I'm going. You know, that place looks familiar. I think that's the old Pentagon building. Yeah, it was a really important government building for, um... Some of the most powerful branches of the government. Okay. Well. Let's head over into D.C. At least this high road's pretty clear. A couple hours until dark. break. Huh. Oh! Oh, watch out, dog mate. Silenced peace anymore. We're not 
not doing well, dog meat. We need to be careful. <coughs> Excuse me. Quick little save right there. Just so we don't die horribly. Oh, dog, wait, did you kill that thing? Good boy, dog, mate. What a way to die. Oh, we're not in good shape, dog, mate. Medical pack. Oh, good. Okay. The farther we go south, the more dangerous life's getting. Now, I thought there may have been someone underneath this bridge. Let's see if they've got maybe a bunk we can use to kind of heal up before we move on. Work on that project. You know what you wanted? Water yeah. Hey. You know anything, uh, anything for sale? The price is right. Make me an offer. Okay. Three dogs, huh? Hey there. Hey. Let's see. Stim pack. Yeah. Yeah, I could use that. Oh, uh, what can I give you? Makes sense to me. A pleasure doing business with you. And you as well. Yeah, see you. Now, you wouldn't let me... No, you wouldn't. Well, I'll take that Salisbury steak. Blood pack. Uh, dirty water. Uh, Salisbury steak. I don't know how long that's going to really help us. But we're mobile again. And we need to keep on moving. I hate it when the Brotherhood of Steel ends up being right about stuff like this.
Okay. Now, what's this up here? A radiated metro station. Hmm. Probably not worth that right now. So what did three dogs say? Just keep following the river. All right, that's what we're doing. Pirate play, boats and bait, rental worm ice cream, and talking parrots. Okay. Some bait. Oh, I can hear it. Hey, that'll be good eating. All right. Terminal. First aid. Yes, another stem pack. Let's put that on my leg. Whew. Filing cabinets, refrigerator, let's see. Take all that. Okay, let's see here. Ceremony. Nothing. Fine. Recorded. Refunded? We're not doing very well, are we? Let's work on some duds. Clear those out. Let's try this again. Dictates. Involved. Involved. Enslaved. There we go. We're going to disengage that lock. And that was hardly worth it. All right. Well, we can top off health. Okay. And head on. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. that. That's the thing. We've lost the light. We probably should have waited until morning back home before we started heading out this way. Hey, a vending machine. I can't get into it, though. Oh, I'd kill for a new Coca-Cola. There we go. I don't know what that place is. We got super mutants. We should be careful.
Oh, it's a war zone. Okay, let's just put this a little bit more back together. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we'll do this. Yeah. Break on me now. Down, no, boy. Good boy. Go get that other one. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Oh, I know. There you go. dead you saved me they dropped this stuff why don't you take it it's all i have all right thanks all right now you get out of here they won't catch me again good oh I should get really try and get better with this these weapons. Ammunition boxes. Flying congressional style. Some grenades. And you know, some makeshift bedding. First aid. Well, let's see here. Not doing too good. Let's let's try sleeping an hour. That's good. Let's try bucking down for the night. Just because. Oh, that's much better. Maybe we can see where we're going now. Alright, outside of here. In Nightmare Land. Oh, it's a memorial. A temple, one. And... Is that it? Is that Rivet City? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Look at that. Come on, dog meat. Let's try to get inside. There it is. Rivet City. Oh. It's been a long time coming. Rivet City. At a Costa Crossing. So if that's here, we could have gotten here through the museum. Oh, look at that. We didn't have to come so far. Well, enough of all that. Let's try and get inside.
Hey, Carlos. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. <sighs> no, I've got some radiated I've water. I've been drinking whatever I can find, but I can't do it anymore. I need purified water. Please. If you find any... All right. Not just a gate, but a ridge. Look at that. All right. Now, just in case, a little bit out of character, I'm going to go ahead and drop a save there just, just because. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm looking for Dr. Lee. Yeah? Let me guess. No, she's not expecting you. But it's really important, and you need to see her right away. Been a lot of that going around lately. And I've had just about enough of it. So you're going to have to do better than that. Well, fine. My father came to see her, and I'm trying to mm. find him. Older guy, in his 50s or so? I remember him. He left already. But Dr. Lee might know more. He left right. already? You can go on up. She'll be in the science lab. Just don't cause any trouble. Or else you're going to answer to me. Okay. Well, is there anyone on this ship named Pinkerton? Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend. Dead or long gone. Don't care much, as I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. Okay, well... I'm kind of lost. This is my first time. Can you help me? I suppose. Where exactly is Dr. Lee's lab? The door on the left goes to the stairwell. From there, just keep heading west. Okay. I suppose. Well, I've got some, Yeah. Where are the stores? Hangar deck. Right in the middle of the ship. Can't miss it. Okay. Um, a couple I more suppose. questions. Yeah. Um... Medical assistance anywhere? Dr. Preston is in the upper deck, four section. That's the top interior floor in the southwest end. Sounds good. Um, I suppose. Yeah. Any places to sleep? The common room is free, but the beds are lousy. It's on the midship deck. A big open room with lots of beds. You can't miss it. And if you want to sleep well rested, rent a room from Vera Weatherly. She's on the upper deck. Vera Weatherly. Okay. And I One more thing. Who's in charge? It doesn't work like that. I'm in charge of security. Dr. Lee runs most of everything else. Bannon kind of represents the merchants. He also owns Potomac Attire. All right. Well, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. That's very important. I can assure you. Well, what all do you know about Rivet City's history? I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. That's fair. Well, then why did you all decide to even live on this rusty old tub in the first place? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. There. Thanks for the help. Carry on, then. We will carry on. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Okay. I'm tracking down a guy named Pinkerton. Do you know where I can find him? Don't you believe the rumors. His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of the ship. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Fair. Well, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? He's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Well, thank you. And if I want to report anybody? Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. Great. Bye. Bye. All right, so if that's west, head west. Bow, stern, or stern and bow. I will figure it out. Go on, dog mate. Ooh. What is this? Someone didn't have a good day over here. But they left their supplies. That's all I care about. tower, there's a paint gun. What a sweet place to live. I gotta say, I'm a little bit jealous, dog me. At least they got a view. Interesting. And there's no way to get back up there. Alright. Well, just for giggles. We'll do that real quick. Alright. Let's see. Marketplace closed at night and the bridge tower stairwell. All right. It's 8:41 a.m. Flack and shrapnels. Hello. Security. Hello. Welcome hey, to Flack and shrapnels. Best goddamn weapons anywhere. Really? This here is Flack and shrapnels gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Well, good. Aren't you afraid someone will use your own guns to rob you? Here, in Rivet City? I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. Oh, there you go. You ever hear of a guy named Pinkerton? You mean Genius Boy? Yeah, I've heard of him. Supposedly built Rivet City. They probably think he invented bread, too. Idiots. Lately, he's even been blamed for the noises in the broken ship bow. Anyone with half a brain would know that's just the Meyer lurks. Okay. Well, anywhere I can get a drink? Try the muddy rudder. They don't ask too many questions down on the lower deck. Okay. Know anything about the history of this place, anyway? Right, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. That's fair. Yeah, well, let me see your arsenal. Need to do some killing, eh? Always. All right. Chinese assault rifles. Ooh, some parts. That's gonna be good. Ah, uh, yep, mini gun. I like it. Missile launcher. Hey, we can replace our silenced 10 millimeter. Look at that. Recon armor, metal armor, combat armor. We we'll probably do with that. Now, let's sell some Raider armor and a Settler outfit. Let's sell this beer. Jet, Lion Congressional style. Hey. Medex and Psycho. Scotch. 
Whiskey, wine. Box of detergent. Card of cigarettes. Pack of cigarette. Some pre war money. Alright. And you know what? I'll sell you these BBs. These darts. These 308 rounds. Give me a shot Thanks. if you need anything else. Thanks. If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. That's a good point. Zamo. Yeah. Alright. Combat armor. Leather armor for backup. Chinese assault rifle. Looking good again. I'm glad. Hunting rifle. No. Minigun. Yes. Missile launcher. Gonna be good. Lying, congressional style. That's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Hey Wong. Potomac Attire, Bannon. Welcome to Potomac Attire. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. I see you're also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Well, so you're on the city council. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Well, whoever the Seagrave is, you think he's a threat to your influence? A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Uh huh. Well, before I look at that, is there anyone on this ship named Pinkerton? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Never met the man myself, but rumor has it he helped found Rivet City. Some rumors say he died trying to loot the broken bow of the ship. Others say he joined up with the Enclave. The Enclave. <laughs> Sure. Sure. But you're on the city council, Dr. huh? Yeah. Well, why are you guys living on the boat in the first place? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Huh. Well. I like to do some business. Straight to the point. I like that. Thank you. Let's see. A dirty Chinese jumpsuit. Wouldn't be bad. Leather armor. Ah, yeah. Some Mark Charmer outfit. Hey. That's not terrible. Red racer jumpsuit for some repair. Sexy sleepwear. A storm chaser hat. I'll take that. And you know what? I have about 94... Maybe a uh, hundred of these rounds. Hundred and five. Yeah. Thank you. Another satisfied customer. And can I ask you a bit about Rivet City's history before I go? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Come back soon. Uh-huh. Closing time. Sure. Me. Stay away from me. 
What do you want? Are you one of them? I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you so afraid of? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. I would never turn in a runaway slave. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. Yeah, here's 25 caps. Buy yourself a gun. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnels just before closing. I don't have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Okay. Well, I'd rather be alone. Just now. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Of course. Enough chit chat. I need to get to work. Those halls won't clean themselves. May I take your order? Jeez. I'll have a Meyer look taking some water. Welcome to Flanket. Shrapnel's best goddamn weapons anywhere. I heard that the city council was debating putting railings on the plate. Well, howdy. I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. Yeah. And how do I know you won't rip me off? You don't. No guarantees in the wasteland. No rebates or exchanges either. Oh, and you break it, you buy it. Yeah, Bannon tells me you're trying to steal his council seat. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. Huh. Probably have a point there. What do you know about Rivet City's oh, history? I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. And you, can you think of anyone from back then that might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Okay, well, what can you tell me about the reconstruction effort? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Meyer Lurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. All right, well, enough about the city. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Huh. Well, what have you got to sell? I've got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Combat shotgun, eh, some combat armor. Well, I can always use more ammo. we go. Another satisfied customer. Oh, I'll see you, Seagrave. See you later. Well, I hope they do something. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Oh, yeah, no. Bad. I'm sure they'll do something about it. Did you hear about Morning. the fight Muddy Brother last night? This yeah, place won't clean itself. That's my job. Okay, Christy. Sorry. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Sure. I do the repairs hey, hey. around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, let me know. Sure thing. This How you doing? Use a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. 
I'm the only one willing to fix it. Hey. Understand? Hello. Hey, hey, Let Gary. Me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. Ah. Oh. I'm partial to Meyer Lurk myself. Then you are in for a treat. Do you know anything about Rivet City's history? I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Okay. Well, thanks. You know, I am hungry, though. Our menu, sir. Thank you. Let's see. <clears throat> Refined punga fruit. Forty caps. And it takes away radiation. That's interesting. Where'd you get this? Minus rads by one plus twelve health. Huh. Yeah, give me one Glad of those. Doing business with you. Thanks. I should let you get, get back to your customers. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Thanks. Hunger fruit. Wow, that's great. A quick fix, huh? Morning. Hello? This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. Yeah. I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you want anything. To buy, that is. Anything you can tell me about the city's history? Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. Yeah, maybe not, but thanks, Cindy. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Yeah. All right. Cindy's got all kinds of I'll try that. No problems to report, I assume? Tammy Hargrave, James Hargrave. Hey, yeah. Tammy. What do you want? Oh, wow. Is that your uh, son running around here? Yeah, that's James. My own little troublemaking brat. I'd sell him to you if they'd let me. Unless you've got any more personal questions, I'm busy. Hey. Whoa. Hey, James. <laughs> So where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Woo! I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Yes, I am. Do you know anything about Rivet City, James? How they made it? Anything at it's all? It's a boat. A really big boat. Yeah. What about stories? Yeah. Dad built it to fight off the Meyerworks. And Mom... She's like the Meyerlark queen. All right, I gotta run. Stay out of trouble, whatever. James. Yeah, whatever. Good to see you. Hi, I'm Angela. My dad runs Gary's Galley. If you want anything to eat, talk to him. Sure. So why do they call it Gary's Galley? Anyway. It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. Yeah. So what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. What's it like living on this giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. <laughs> clean water. Hey, what's with the uh, the kid? Kind of a little bit of a brat, right? James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. She treats him like crap. I think it's because she drinks too much. Can I ask you about River City's history? I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Okay, well, I don't see how that's any of my business. See you, Angela. Bye. 
Okay. Scary. You know what I like? Make it rare. Oh, and get James something too. Not too expensive though. He's been naughty. My pleasure, Tammy. I think I have some iguana bits for James. May I take your order? Mole rat, well done. With wine. Leave the bottle. James has been bad. He gets a carrot and some water. Oh jeez. Don't you have a component to deliver? Victoria, yes I do. Good point. The upper deck. I wonder why that's locked. It's 10 a.m. Flight deck. Hey, dog meat. Whoa. No, 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 no. All right. Uh, well, if that's locked up there, we'll head on out. Let me or hey, a security I officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Is there a problem? No problem. Now uh, you're uh, you're on the city council, yeah? Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Well, thanks for the help. Carry on then. Yeah, you as well. Okay, so maybe not there. Mid ship deck. Now that that. I don't see why that's closed. Alright. Rivet City into the stairwell. Don't mind me. I'd rather be alone just now. Common Room, Science Lab, St. Monica's Church. Capital Preservation Society. Now the muddy rudder's supposed to be down here, right? Yeah. Oh, great. All right, let's check it out. I'd never. Bel Belboni, right? You're a new one. I'm Belboni of the Muddy Rudder. Make it quick. It's a nice place. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order or what? Oh, fine. I'm looking for someone named Pinkerton. That ring any bells? What a moron. Always going on about how he started Rivet City. Who gives a crap? Right before he disappeared, he was going on about some newfangled contraption he was sure was in the broken bow of the ship. Good to know. Any good stories? Talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. Well, good. How about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. I bet someone like you hears lots of stories. Can't you share one? No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron are you? But fine. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. Fine. So Pinkerton's in the, uh, the broken bow, huh? Go on, dog me. Let's get out of here. Good to see you. Good to see you. I 
Do they have a, uh, uh, the Weatherly Hotel? It's not on here, is it? Let's head up to the Weatherly Hotel. Because it's far past time we found somewhere for Brian to live. Hello. Bannon's door, Young door, Science Lab in the Weatherly Hotel. There we go. And a clinic. Oh, ah. Hello. Mr. Buckingham at your service. What is this place? This is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the finest establishment in Rivet City. Who's your owner? I serve Miss Vera Weatherly, proprietor of the Weatherly Hotel. Not that it's any of your business. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's all yes, for sir. now. Yeah. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Vera, I hear that you're the lady to talk to about the most interesting gossip in Rivet City. Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's no. addicted to Ken's. His poor wife, Cindy, is at her wit's end. Really? Anything else? Anything fun? You haven't heard? Angela? has the hots for Diego. No. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. Scandalous. Anything else in the cracks and crevices? They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. That's terrible. So what's, uh, what's the deal with the little punk, James? James? His mother drinks too much. When she does, she doesn't treat him very well. Personally, I think she blames him for his father leaving her, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Now, do you know anything about the, the city history? Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm oh. sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Well, okay. Anything... Would anybody know more? Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since he was just a boy, and I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. He's spoken. Now, there's another reason uh, that I'm here, Vera. Your nephew, Brian, lost his folks and he's a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. I think Brian will love his new home. I'm going to send him over shortly. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Thank you, Vera. Okay. Well, in that case... I think we'll head over to... Hey there. Hello. Yeah, the science lab. Say close, dog meat. your runaway robot and you don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives. And your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. 
now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. So Don't yourself. go too far away. I'm going to need you to move some equipment shortly. Hey there. Hello. I'm uh, looking for my father. Have you seen him? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? Sure. Now, is she as smart as I say she is, Dr. Lee? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. Huh. Yeah, see you. Yeah, see ya. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Uh, that depends. What exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Okay. What kind of property is this? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Okay, that's interesting. But what's this got to do with me exactly? You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. And I'll be compensated for these services, correct? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. <laughs> I'll look into finding this android for you. Excellent. Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Okay, well, I need to know more about what I'm dealing with here if I'm going to find your android. What is it exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Huh. And any suggestions for finding the android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surrounding. Uh, I see. Now, if this android wandered off, why would he want a new mind and a new face? Maybe, maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. 
escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life, wipe away all memory, all guilt, trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him, I want him. End of story. And you come from the Commonwealth, huh? Tell me about that. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however, but the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Oh. Oh, I see. Sure, sure. Now, with your developed mind, do you know anything about Rivet City? Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. There. There. Now, why would an android, a robot, feel guilt? Come on, Zimmer. There's something you're not telling me. By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Interesting. So, if others have escaped, why focus on this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different, special, the most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. Well, then I'm going to be tracking down the location and equipment used to perform the face job. Ah, you've managed to sniff the trail. Good job. Keep me informed on your progress. Well, why are you still standing there? Yes, sir. Armitage. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. Oh, great, yeah. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? One day at a time. Now... It sounds like the android was definitely given new memories in order to blend into society as well as it has, obviously. Good job. You've confirmed what I suspected all along. Now why don't you go out and figure out who did the memory work? <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, please hey. excuse me. There is much work to be done. Yeah, of course. Well, now what do you do around here? I help Dr. Lee when she needs equipment moved. I'm no scientist. I just help with the heavy things. I kind of do the same thing. I'm Janice Kaplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. That's fair. What do you know about the uh, 
Dr. Zimmer over there. Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass, nothing. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. Understandable. You know anything about the city's history? By chance? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, you really shouldn't disturb her work. Okay. Farewell. So long. I'm off to work. A good deal. I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. See you then, Henry. Well, I think that's a good place to uh, stop the video. Just because the next conversation is going to be very extensive. And I'd hate to have that just uh, on the tail end of a video. If you enjoy what the kind of content that I put out here, please consider following me on Twitch uh, at Jeff the Narrator 469 or ooh, that doesn't sound good or you can always catch up on my uh, playlists on YouTube at Jeff the Narrator for, at Jeff the Narrator <laughs> this has been Henry's story and in the next part we're going to try and wrap up in Rivet City for now at least. And until next time, with Henry and Dogmeat here, keep telling stories.